The civil society scaling up nutrition in Nigeria has called for the abolition of cultural practices contributing to the increase of malnutrition in the country. The executive director of the organization made the call at a one-day conference on nutrition held in Lafia, the capital of Nasrawa state. It said the current levels of malnutrition in Nasrawa is still high, hence the need for adequate intervention by relevant authorities. We need to begin to give people the correct information so that they can begin to correct those cultural beliefs that are not good. For example, I will not give a child meat because if I give a child meat or fish, he will grow up to steal. That is not correct. The child needs meat or fish to build up his or her own body and to build up his or her brain and so on. And it will not necessarily make the child to steal when they grow up. Such practices need to be discouraged. And they, they, you can't discourage such practices if the people who practice them don't have the correct information. We all have a role to play in changing even cultural practices that are detrimental to our achieving uh, our goal of good nutrition. In the state, we have had figures as high as 37 percent, and you know when I talk about these figures, I often say it's important we don't just see numbers; we see people. If you say 37 percent, you are saying that out of every 10, perhaps three or four children are stunted. You know that is huge concern. You know, so in the state, that's where we are. But we are hoping that with all these interventions coming out of an harmonized effort of all stakeholders, we should be able to get these figures to drop.